Oh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. My name's Lori. What's your I'm name? Davis. Oh, wow. Another one. Yeah. Two in as many days. Yeah. What are you doing today, honey? We're transmission service. You got a little grumble that's probably not yeah, RSN? I just, I just want to have it done. I just figure every 50 thou, you know, it's just a good thing to do. Maintenance okay. is always good. Mercedes calls it a lifetime transmission. That's why they don't give you a dipstick for it. No kidding. Which... I went to look for the dipstick to check the fluid. It's like, wait a minute now. Yeah. <laughs> they don't give you that. Do you mind if I bring mine out? Hi. You be good. You do you be good. They'll be fine, honey. Be good. That's a pretty fresh looking transmission. It doesn't look all black and gritty like I'm used to seeing them. Yes, it is, isn't it? And it's got markings on it that I can read still. The little doors are still there, too. The little uh, yep. plugs yep. in the torque converter. They're a little bit wet. This is really clean over here. Look at this. There's a label on here that I can read that says Daimler Chrysler. This is like brand new. Yeah. They're all sagging and beat up on all of our vans. Yeah, the belt looks good. It looks new. Alternator looks good. No, gross and black. I can actually read 612-011-0201 on the side of the on the side of the block. Nice. That's very, impressive. Very clean under here. I should have yeah. brought more cardboard. I'm sorry. Oh, that's alright. I should have brought cardboard for everybody. No, that's fine. <laughs> right now, then, um, I feel kind of like a little little lag, like something's slipping. Mmm. It feels kind of weird. I mean, it's, it's super subtle. Okay. No one else can feel it, but well, me. <laughs> like in the when when it wants to shift, or when you no, step on it. No, um, it's probably during a shift, but it just it just feels like something slips for just a microsecond. Oh, ah, so. okay. Well, the service know. might help you out with that. It yeah. might eliminate yeah. it altogether, actually. Yeah. So it's low miles, but I mean, it's and it's you know it's, it's really more sort of preventative than anything else. I just yeah. I really love this vehicle, and I think I've got about the best year they made, so... Yeah, yeah I agree. definitely. Five millimeter. Five millimeter for the main drain plug. Hex. H H5. H5. Not a Hummer. Let's see what 49,000 mile transmission fluid looks like. Wow, that is red. Wow. Did you catch the plug? Is it? Yeah, it is liquidy. That might be the cause of a shutter. Yep. Just decided to drip drip on you? <laughs> no, it gave me a bath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when the truck says Bill, you stink. Oh my God. That's horrible. What the heck? I mean, why did that just all of a sudden, it's like a cork fell out. Uh. I should know these numbers by now. This is a T25, I think. T30. T30, really? T30. I thought it was 25. Uh, I was thinking it was 27, actually, now that I think. I made that video. I should know that video. Yeah, this is a 30. And I think it's going in there. <laughs> She's ready. Bum, 
Yeah, it doesn't clip. It would just be held up in there by the pan. Okay. Usually they clip. This one doesn't seem to. Hopefully the new one clips. Ooh. <laughs> Obligatory drop in the pan for a transmission change. Always happens. No transmission change is complete without dropping something in the pan, so let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. It's still draining, and it's gonna be draining for a little bit. In the meantime, we can pull that plug. That is one of the cleanest, freshly dropped pans I have ever seen. By far the cleanest I've ever seen. Like, it's still shiny and everything. And and even the rag I'm using to wipe it out is clean. Yeah, it is. But there's no magnet in it. That's a problem. And yeah, this is definitely... That is a captive bolt you're pulling out, is it not? It is. So we're just gonna spin it until we know it's loose. And give it three more turns. Pop right up. And there's the bolt in there. As you can see, it ain't coming out. Do want to make sure you get the seals out of that hole. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Those pins are wet. Some of these valve body bolts are pretty tight, tighter than we're accustomed to. Wow, that is tight. Why is that so tight? And that one's not tight at all. Wow. I don't think I loosened that one yet, did I? Maybe I did. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one I was on earlier. That one just wasn't tight, I don't believe. And these two are ridiculous tight. That one, that one sounded proper. That sounded okay too. So we're gonna drill one out anyhow. Damn it. That sucks.
This is the head of the bolt that we drilled out. And as you can see down inside of there, just as soon as the drill bit got deep enough, it popped the head off. So we didn't drill into the, the truck at all, anything other than this bolt. Even It even had a washer in there. So if we had gone just a fraction too deep, which you can see on the washer is kind of scarred up, like maybe we did you just, just touch it. Uh, but that whole bolt head washer was replaced with a new one like this. So absolutely no scars on the transmission. That will do. That'll do. It's nice and loose. Oh. oh, into the book, into the pan. Oh yeah. Yep, it's definitely coming down. Oh yeah. It is so ready. Remember right from the video, the proper way to do this is to pull that plug and then give it a quick bath, right? Yeah. Two screws in the pan. 10 points each. Wow, that was, that was a beautiful pull. Wait, I haven't gotten to the part where I drop it yet. Well, hello there, Mr. Valve body. Also conductor plate up on top. As you can see, this is proper for the dipstick. So this holder will catch the ears and prevent the dipstick from going all the way down into the bottom of the pan and bending on the bottom of the pan. And it is missing the covers, but the covers are not, or the covers on the solenoids are not essential from what I'm reading. Now he did mention that he felt a bit of a shudder sometimes. I don't really see gunk built up on these wheel speed sensors, or I believe these are the RPM sensors actually. Um, and that's got a little bit of flop, but it's not ridiculous. That feels good. So it might have just been the fact that there was a lot of oil in the TCM electrical plug causing his slight shudder. As you can see, there is the torque converter drain plug, and it is about to say thank you, thank you, thank you for finally draining me. Five millimeter to pull the torque converter plug. Came out pretty easy. Oh, that's great. That bolt we drilled off before should come out real, yep, real easy now. It's finger loose. New seal for the torque converter plug. Oops, get on it right. There we go. Fits like a glove. New seal all on the torque converter plug. And the plug goes in the hole. Glad you clarified that. You want to be careful to put it in the right hole. That's what she said. Exactly. I thought before I said it. Plugs in. Okay, so Bill's gonna bring the conductor plate and valve body back in all together, nice and clean. Here we go, here we go. To draw your attention to he lines that up specifically. If you don't get that lined up properly, you're not gonna be able to shift your transmission. I'm just gonna set it in and get the bolts finger tight and then we'll torque them to proper spec in a star pattern as per one of our commenters. We pointed out that we should do that to avoid warping of the conductor plate and valve body. That bolt was missing entirely 
and this one wasn't tight at all. That's the sneaky one that we sometimes can't see depending on our angle. But yeah, we're ready for eight Newton meters of torque goodness. <laughs> See folks, it only takes another two extra minutes to make sure your bolts are torqued to proper spec. If you have the tool. Rent the tool. It's worth it. Wait Bill, don't put that pan on yet. You almost forgot the filter. Not again. Great. I had to go to the Dodge dealership this morning to get that. I could feel the Dallas stairs. that in to make sure that the little arm snaps to the valve body. There we go, and it stays up there. Magnet in the pan was missing. Aha, uh -huh. good to see it has a magnet again. Now, the odd one for whatever reason, I don't know why that's an odd one but it goes up here, where you also have this odd hole. Someday I'll learn why that's different. So. service. Now all we have to do is actually put the fluid in it. Mesh is all ready for some fresh fluid. Mm -mm -mm. We're not going to fill it all the way up. We're going to put about four quarts in. I think to check the fluid. I think five and then we check. Five and then we check. Five quarts in, then we check to make sure where it's at. Tell you what, since we're not sure, we'll go four and a half. Four and a half, all right, sounds good to me. And since this van is so meticulously well taken care of, we are going to go ahead and replace this broken red plastic clip on his transmission drain plug, which believe it or not, they make replacements for. It's just a baby. Got daytime running lights. That steering wheel doesn't even move. I want it. Test drive. Yes, you are. You are. You're a cute dog. You're a cute dog. Operation probably seven or eight years, and I've come so close so many times, and then this one popped up. I said, "This yep. is it. Awesome. I got to replace the AC. And I've got to uh, fix the um, hot water heater, which apparently, from what they say, doesn't work that well anyway." Yeah. I guess you don't park or you don't camp off grid very often, unplugged. Um. Yeah, a fair amount, but you know we, we do have a dense set, and we don't usually we don't usually need the, uh, the AC, but we're also going to be doing the uh, outdoorsy thing. You know what that is? It's or oh, renting it. Yeah, Ooh. just to kind of you know just to kind of um, ameliorate the amount of money we have into it. And be really careful about who I rent to. Yeah, and of course. Just keep in touch with me and let me know how that works because okay. we've got six vans and I keep talking about doing that. Yeah. And every time I talk about doing it, I get a barrage of, oh, you'll regret it, people. Really? And yeah. I'm not convinced, you know, it's always people who have their ideas, yeah. not their experiences. Yeah. So I, I'm not a believer. I think yeah. 
outdoorsy. It must work well for a lot of people. Well, there's two. There's outdoorsy and then there's RV share. Yeah. And the outdoorsy one, I, I have a much better feeling about it. I think Camp Panda is another one that does the same thing. Okay. You might have a name mixed up with something else. Yeah, my buddy else here, has a uh, custom-made Dodge Grand Caravan for some reason. I'm going to step out of the sun. And, yeah. Looking at you, I'm and, um, <laughs> He's been doing it, and um, he's rented out twice, and each time it's been great. Good. Well, I would love to, especially with Bike Week being right here every year, oh, yeah. we could get quite the premium yeah. and just sell out sure. every year. Sure. Uh, no race Week and all that. Yeah. So I think we're in a good spot to do that, yeah. but I haven't. I'm just going to really make mm -hmm. sure that whoever I rent, I want to meet them. And Yep. Yeah. Definitely. I think that gets tricky because once they meet you, they're kind of committed at that point. <laughs> Yeah. Remember when we showed up for the uh, Airbnb in oh my God, St. Yeah. Martin? St. Martin. Yeah. yeah. We didn't want to rent from him real quick. Yeah. Wow, and then, then we were in St. Well, I, I first of all, it was, he, he claimed, oh, it's cash only. And I showed up ready to pay with a credit card. And well, it was over $1,000. And I didn't carry that kind of cash. And he sure. got upset about that. And that yeah. one thing just kind of rolled into another. And it wasn't as fancy of an apartment as it looked like. Yeah, uh, sell tomorrow. But yeah, so then all of a sudden we were in St. Martin without a place to sleep, and it was fairly soon after the hurricane. Yeah. So, yeah, we managed. We yeah. did manage. That was, that was such a good time, such a good trip either way. That's great. Um, do you mind me asking how much it was for the whole van? 34.5. 34.5, okay. Yeah, that's what we paid. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a great price. And I just, I lo I've been looking for so long. I just, that was a really good price. I said, yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. What was it? She was mad. Kind of a dog, classy cat. Get a closing shot of the dog before. <laughs> <laughs> you shake? shake? No, but you're sweet boy. Girl? Girl, girl. Hazel. Girl. Hazel. You're a sweet Hazel, yes you are. This is for the dogs of Florida Van Man. <laughs> and they're still, oh my God. <laughs> 14 years old and looking brand new. <laughs> Uh, we got original horns. 